Hey everybody, welcome back to Makers Acres. Just as a quick refresher, last time we unboxed the engine, got it up, installed, and got the radiator on there. And today we're gonna dive into the hydraulic pumps. All right, today I'm gonna look into this valve block. I was just gonna replace it, but after after looking at the Genie website, they want $5,500 for this valve block, which is what I paid for the whole unit. That's ridiculous, just totally ridiculous. It comes apart. I wanna see what, what it looks like inside. I'm assuming that this is probably savable if it's cleaned up, you know, flushed out, and then the two magnets or solenoids changed on the top and bottom. I mean, it looked okay, the, uh, just pulling it off, the seal looked fine and everything. So I just wanna tear it apart and get inside and let's see if it's if it's swallowed in contaminants, see what the, the quality of the internal components are. So let's see if we can take it apart. Okay, so it does, it does look like this will come apart. 17, okay, 17. <clears throat> And this is probably ridiculously torqued on here. Let's see if we can get the valve off the other side. Okay. So this broke loose. Oh shoot, there's a manufacturer name on here. MSM. That means we might have a chance of getting parts. And this whole valve body should pop out. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. I mean, it looks really nice. Some more wear on one side of this than the other. But the other side, man, it looks looks perfect. So that's that's great news. This is why it's always good to stamp your part numbers into things, because when a catastrophic accident happens and you've got no reference material, it's really hard to figure out what's going on. Magnet's really still stuck on here. Let's try that. So sadly, no part numbers on the valve body. We do have that MSN here, so I'm gonna go see what I can find online about this. There's no reason that should be five grand. No reason. All right, now that uh, I'm getting ready to start on the Genie, as far as cleaning parts, I needed something to clean the parts in, so I wanted to get myself a parts washer. Kind of the best deal that I found is the $99 20 gallon parts washer at Harbor Freight. And I had one before many years ago at the screen printing company I was involved in and ran for years and was fine. So hopefully it didn't change anything and it'll just work. I'm gonna set this up and I've got mineral spirits to put in it. So let's get going. All right, in true Harbor Freight fashion form, something's wrong with the pump and it does not pump. So it kind of clicks, sounds like there's something maybe caught in it, I'm not sure.
nothing. Already got the liquid in there, so I need to glove up, safety glasses, and be careful because I already have mineral spirits in there. So let's take it apart and see what's wrong. So that works. So something about this cover. Ta-da! more piece to that valve. I need to check and see if this is in a repair kit because if it is then this will just get thrown away. So I'm just going to let everything sit in here overnight. So about 11.75 from that tying in there to the top of this. I went back and closely looked at the pump and was able to discover this data plate that was so covered in grease and soot I didn't see it the first time. So after thorough cleaning, I was able to lift the part numbers that I needed. With that information, I was able to go to the Bosch website and figure out all of the seals and the kits I needed to rebuild this pump. And guess what? That part that was $5,500, I was able to get for $180-ish. Oh. Leverage. Broke the wrench. What? Where? Oh, no, it worked. Yeah! <laughs> I could have swore I saw it move. I'm gonna go get a sweater, okay? Oh my god. I like the precision adjustments. <laughs> One good thing about being a cameraman is that you have clean hands and you're not really asked to do this kind of stuff. You just get to watch them grunt and flex. Oh, look how nice and clean that is on that side. Oh my god. That's a hundred pounds. That's more than a goat? I would say so. What do you have to say to Future Bob? Uh, I hope it's worth it, future bus. <laughs> Alright, so just for reference, I've got the main pump there. I've got the secondary pump and all of its parts right there. I have the new solenoid valves, the seal kit, the back part of the main pump that came off. I've got the old parts all in here. Old pump parts. And I'm also bringing the new pump parts, the o ring, and seal kit for the second pump. So that should be good. We're on our way to City of Industry or Diamond Bar or someplace like that. I found a authorized Bosch Rexroth dealer who would look at my pump. I started to dig into it and watch some rebuild videos on the internet and there's a bunch of pieces that need to be pressed precisely. It's not like a regular gear pump that's pretty easy to rebuild. This one has a ton of stuff. So I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet, have him go through it. They said they charge 95 an hour. He figured it'd probably be 1,200 to 3,000, depending on what's bad inside. We still don't know the hours on the machine. So I think it has less than 400 hours on it. I really hope that that is the case. I really hope everything inside is fine. It just depends on if the machine was running while it was burning up because it could have sucked debris or something into the pumps and caused a problem. I'm just going to be happy that somebody who knows what they're looking for is going to tear this apart. I really wrestled with this decision going back and forth. But I'm at the point now that I want the darn thing to be done and I want to stop messing around with it. I just want it to work and so I can move on to my next project. Cut a ton of them and this one is just uh, dragging on and I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel and 
we're getting there pretty quickly. I think I really want somebody who can tear into this and really, really, who knows what they're doing and can sign off that it is a functioning pump and I'm not gonna have problems with it. Because the bottom line, once I start using this thing, I don't wanna tear it down again or have it broken. Who knows what I'll be doing that day? Who knows what maybe contractors I might have on site? Who knows how many thousands of dollars that could cost in lost productivity? So hopefully this is good. Hopefully this will go smoothly. They'll go through the pump. There won't be any major issues. Uh, also that pump is the heaviest damn thing I think I've ever held. So that was a really, really ridiculously heavy pump. It was really hard to get it in the car. I might have a hernia now. Alright, we got everything dropped off. Quite an impressive shop they have. I think I was expecting a little shop in the back of a strip mall or something. Seems like these guys are the real deal. You know, they're certified by Bosch Rex Roth to rebuild pumps, so that's fantastic. He had never seen this exact model number. It's not something that was in their system. He tried to look it up, told me, you know, a pump's a pump, they'll figure it out. That's good. He's going to tear into it today and then give me a call with an estimate. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm like, Feeling happy because this is one thing that's been on my list since I got this thing is how am I going to deal with this pump? And they have an amazing test bench where we'll be able to plug it in, or I should say put it on the test bench, spin it up, and set all of my hydraulic pressures and really test it thoroughly. So I gave them both pumps. I was going to do the gear pump myself, but they function as kind of one unit. Hopefully it doesn't come in at some terrible price. Feeling really, really good, really confident that, you know, this will be one major thing off my list that I won't have to really struggle with. The only thing that's a bummer about this is we have to drive an hour, an hour each way to get there. That'll be the worst part, hopefully. Yeah, they do a good job. I'll uh, leave a link in the comments to uh, this place. It's in Walnut or City of Industry, some other place down here in Los Angeles. I can't remember the other city that it was close to. It's really a part of town we don't visit very often unless we're headed to Disneyland. Well, that's going to do it for this video, so please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. And it's not cold out here. It's wonderful. No, it is nice. It's just chilly. I'm a little fresh, as they say. No, definitely not fruity. I'm fresh and, like, salty, like beef jerky.